This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Okay, I've got maybe four months of Florida fishing under my belt. This is my best trip yet. All right, so this is a cold morning for Florida. It's 49 degrees. Uh, it's a pretty stiff wind. Uh, and my objective this particular morning was to get way back um, out of the open waters, try to get where it's a little deeper, a little bit warmer, because those cold temperatures push things like snook and so forth, push them back into the warmer waters. Uh, but this is a place I have never snook fished before. I'm just paddling along, looking at the shoreline, trying to pick a place to cast. I, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I know I've got 70 degree water. I'm happy about that. But where do you fish? You've got miles and miles of what looks great. You know, all these mangrove lined waters. Um, hey, I'm looking for current. It's it's like striper fishing. You know, you look for current. You look for uh, you know, points, in this case the points are in the, the mangroves and, you know, pockets and things like that. They're ambush predators, places where they can set up, have current, bring food by them. And, uh, yeah, there we go. The second cast goes into a tree. Uh, that's about par for the course. Um, but I've got a lot of current and wind in the same direction, so I'm kind of really moving along here. But that's okay. That's going to let me check the shoreline. Um, pretty fast and uh, a third cast here. Okay, I was followed and that didn't look small, so all right, this is encouraging. And you see that white cooler bag up in the front of the yak? Uh, yeah, I was going to go sheep's head fishing if this didn't pan out. Well, I never got to go for the sheep's head. Okay, I definitely have life here. Um, neither one of those fish hit, but I'm going to just keep working the shoreline. And I'm going to work through a couple of smaller fish here first, and then get into some really serious big snook. Water snook on a 50, 49 degree warning. All right, not a big fish, but not terrible. And uh, okay, um, again, you know, trying to build something here, and you know, this is going to keep me casting. All right, I'm not too impressed with the size, but um, what didn't show up well on video was one of the casts I made in close spooked a large fish. There was, you know, uh, no guarantee it was a snook, but it's in the back of my mind. All right, so all these smaller fish are coming from roughly the same stretch. So what I'm going to do is uh, going to expand my drift and go farther back. This is a personal best snook. Come on, hooks. That is definitely my PB. There's no question. Come on. Oh, he's going to be really hard to get out of there. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Oh, he's right on the edge. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got this point. Ugh. 
Come on out of there. Definitely my personal best, definitely. Get right up against there, come on. I can't, can't, can't keep him out. Keep pedaling, keep pedaling. Come on, pull, pull, pull. Use the boat, use the boat. Wow. All right, he's up on the drag a little. Don't want to give him slack. These are the ones I lose. Wow. He definitely went up against the structure. I can see the line. It's got stuff on it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, like that's gonna fit. Wow. Come on in here. Yes. Oh shit, yeah. 49 degrees this morning. You know, I think I saw that fish move earlier. Oh yeah, as I said, uh, right from the hookup, a personal best. Uh, my previous personal best was 40 inches, but yeah, th this one's definitely bigger. A lot of people have asked me to see the retrieve speed, so hey, we're going to get to see uh, what the retrieve looked like on this fish and the effort to keep them out of the mangroves. And all of the pedaling you'll see is in reverse. I'm back pedaling on the fish. Definitely. Right up against there, come on. I 
can't, can't, can't keep him out. Keep pedaling, keep pedaling. Pull, 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 pull. Use the boat, use the boat. But wait, there's more. Alright. There's a honey hole. Perfect, come on. Come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh, here he is, come on. Oh my god, another use. Look. Oh my god. Holy crap. Something I like about this rubber net, it's got a very deep mesh and it's really paying off here. It, this gives you an idea of how hard I was working to, uh, you know, get up against that wind and the current because I'm just moving along here on drift. And all that drag tweaking, that was because, uh, you know, I want a different drag setting under the boat than I want near the mangroves and especially the different angle on the rod. All right, yeah, uh, wow, huh. and uh, it's going to go off just fine. So both fish, what I did was I towed them along with the Three kayak a little go. bit to revive them, but uh, this guy's ready to go. Nice, nice. Okay, and we'll uh, look at the retrieve on that fish as well. And I'm not totally done having fun yet. That's an unbelievable cast. Come on, reward me. Uh, I'm just not that good to be able to do that alone. Oh! Oh, that's another quality one. Oh, it's a jack. Whoa. I got 
to get. So the Hobie really performed well in this wind and current. Uh, you know, I was able to make all the adjustments I needed to fish this shoreline, and yeah, it was challenging. Come on, perfect, perfect. Let's go, guys. Come on. All right, multiple jacks there. Uh, hey, you know your morning's going well when this happens. What's going to happen here? I'm going to blow the cast. I'm going to basically turn it into a jack cast. And <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get lucky. All right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Oh, bit it off. No, I think I screwed up. I think the knot failed, the loop knot. First time for me. But as with the way this morning's going, I'm not even going to lose the plug. <laughs> <laughs>